we worship. Hello. In times past, the word of God came to our fathers through the prophets. But now, it has come to us through his son, to whom he has given all things for a heritage. Make a date with the servant of God, Reverend Simpebe Diakon, the senior pastor of High City Church. Every Friday, right here on sunny 88.7 FM, between 10 and 10.30 p.m., as he takes you on a spiritual journey to receive the virtue that can create and recreate your world, health, and wealth. For counseling and prayer, call or WhatsApp 27 862 Two six two seven. God bless you as you listen. I love to worship. Hallelujah. God bless you so much, and it's a great privilege to come your way one more time from the High City Church. You can find us as a, a showman village at Pure Water. And tonight is a wonderful night because right from here we are joining a prayer meeting that is going on at the cathedral from 10 o'clock and we'll close at 4 a.m i'm especially inviting you you can make it from wherever you are from achimota from any place you can just join us even as prayer goes up i believe that god is coming down to touch and to heal us and to bring us to that place in life amen so i'm inviting you and in fact if you are unable to make it today you can make it any other last friday of the month as prayer goes up the power of god comes down amen and amen, amen. today i want to share with you a, a very short message and hopefully we'll open the phone lines again i'll be able to pray for the sick and to pray for your needs and i believe that god will hear our prayer and answer but with me in the studio is reverend george damwa so we would beg him to pray with us and bring us before the throne of grace even before i share the word of god so reverend george damwa will pray with us let's pray beloved let's pray father in the name of jesus as you've always done it your word ministers power healing deliverance to everyone that humbles himself to hear i pray that father even as this word comes out from the prophet of god let healing let deliverance let power to prosper power to move higher yes, than Lord. we've ever been power to break chains that has held us bound be released into our bones, our spirit, and our soul. Yes, and Lord. let everyone that hears this message be empowered, have hope to face life, make it, and be victorious. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. Wow. I believe the prayer is very powerful and the power of God is already flowing into your lives, into your homes, into your cars, wherever you are, in that hospital, in that police cell in that prison as you hear the word of god i believe that this word is going to change your life but if you have a bible with you i want you to open to john chapter 3 and today i'm going to talk about a man called nicodemus in his interaction with jesus and i'm going to explain one of the reasons why there is so much problem in the world now and there is so much mess in the church especially in the christian community this is one thing that we have overlooked and that is what is creating all the mess and the problem we find around today we invite people to church and not to jesus we invite people to a program and not to the kingdom of god but i believe that jesus did not come because of our churches or because of our prophetic meetings but he came because men should be translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light as i began to share with you last week in the story of abraham god wants to translate us from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son and today we are overlooking some of the key things <laughs> key things that form the foundation to a christian faith the foundation to power the foundation to health and the foundation to liberty and tonight i believe that as as your prophet for the next 30 minutes for the next half hour I, i'm going to share something very little with you and once this thing is settled in your spirit we have started solving some of the major problems in the church today so let's read john chapter 3 verse 1 there was a man 
of the Pharisees named Nicodemus. Wow, say Nicodemus. Nicodemus. A ruler of the Jews. Wow, this is a great man. And the same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher from god <laughs> hallelujah look at the description it says you are a teacher today you see the mess in the church is because a lot of people say oh as for me i'm a teacher so i don't work miracles i'm a teacher so i don't heal the sick it's, it's a mistake jesus was a teacher from god and yet nicodemus a pharisee acknowledged that jesus being a teacher of the truth could work miracles that no man can work except God is with that man. That's right. Today you see, when you have an ignorant preacher in the pulpit, we call him a prophet. Because in our minds, a prophet must be ignorant. Except by word of knowledge or word of wisdom, that prophet should not be able to teach the Bible. But that's a mistake. And that is the foundation to all of the problems in the church and around the world today only the listen a teacher from god and he worked miracles that no man could work except god is with him being ignorant is not a sign of a prophetic calling That's right. i'm a prophet but i don't think i'm ignorant in the scriptures <laughs> hallelujah now jesus answered unto him you see now nicodemus came to jesus and he started by talking about miracles he started by talking about miracles now look at what jesus began to talk about jesus answered and said verily verily i say unto you Branico, it is not an issue of miracles it is not an issue of signs and wonders it's an issue of being born again that's right nicodemus came to jesus talking about miracles and Jesus said, Nicodemus, you are starting from JHS 1. But from the nursery, from crutch of the faith, it begins with being born again. Today, a lot of people have a lot of weak faith. You see a lot of Christians giving up and backsliding and jumping around and flying like butterflies from one flower to the other, looking for nectar and for something sweet from a prophet. And the reason why we have believers who don't stand the test of time is because we begin with miracles instead of beginning with being born again. That's right. The Bible says that a certain man is born again. When you start talking about kingdom issues in the church, that man or woman will leave the church and run after miracles. I'm a prophet and I believe in miracles. I believe in healing and I'm, I'm, I believe I'm anointed by God. But I believe that if the church will go back to that place of awakening and tell the members to get born again, the mess we find in the church will leave the church. Because when a man is born again, that man becomes enlightened. And that man is able to see the kingdom of God. The Bible says that the kingdom is not in meat and drink, but in, in, in righteousness, in joy, in the Holy Ghost. That kingdom is in peace. Ah, glory to God. So Nicodemus said unto him, verse 4, he said unto Jesus and said, I'm talking about miracles. You are talking about being born again. How can a man that is old enter into his mother's womb one more time, if not by a miracle? I started by talking about miracles. You told me it's not about miracles. Now you are telling me to be born again. I'm old, I'm old already. How can I be born again? Except by the power of the supernatural or the miraculous. And Jesus in verse 5 answered brother Nico and said brother Nicodemus. Verily, verily, truthfully, I say unto you. Except a man be born of water. Except a man come to that place of changing his mind. Except a man goes through the door of repentance to experience the remission of sin. And to be born of the spirit. To be baptized of the Holy Ghost. To be born of the spirit. That man cannot enter the kingdom. Even though the man may be able to see it. Glory to God. I love the scriptures and I love the dialogue between Jesus and Nicodemus.
there is somebody speaking to me right now saying that prophet i have a problem witches have been worrying me i have a problem with demons when i sleep i i have dreams and i've been sick and i've been this and i've been that listen to me you are sick and you still have problems with demons because you have not been initiated into the realm of power you have not had that experience that gives you the god nature that will set you apart and set you above human nature That's right. look at the scriptures except a man be born again he cannot see the kingdom a lot of believers are backsliding today and because we just invite them to church we invite them to a program we invite them to all night and we think that just because they responded to our invitation to church is enough for them to be able to walk the life of christ but that is a deception except a man is born again except a man have come to that place of making a personal decision for jesus except a man have come to that place of saying that i have walked with my mind with my understanding with my intellect and i'm struggling with life but now i want to walk by the word of god who is jesus christ john chapter one he said in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was actually god the word became flesh and dwelt amongst men he came unto his own his own did not receive him but as many as did receive the word until we can bring the church and the christian community and the families we love and the world around us to accept that the scriptures is the only writing inspired of the spirit of god which is profitable in teaching and training in all matters of faith and righteousness the mess and and, and, and excuse my language and the stupidity we find around us will continue hallelujah hey listen if you are able to be born of water and of their spirit a specific spirit the holy spirit the spirit of christ you cannot enter the kingdom though you may see it so a lot of people have seen in the scriptures how jesus said i came that you will have life and are bound with life yet they are dying and the reason why they are dying is they have not been initiated into the realm of power look at verses that which is born of flesh is flesh <laughs> but that which is born of the spirit is spirit uh, uh, can you hear my voice tonight in your home yeah. is that voice coming to your car can you see what i'm seeing in the scriptures i was born of flesh by my mother by the seed of my father and all i could do was what flesh can do but now 24 years ago <laughs> i had the opportunity to be born of the spirit and when i got born of the spirit I, I i i inherited the nature of the spirit that is why the bible tells us in mark chapter 16 verse 15 that as we preach the gospel those who believe those who believe those who believe for with the heart you believe and with the mouth you confess unto the experience of being born of water and of the spirit hallelujah so if you can hear the sound of my voice i came to preach something that is not easy for a natural man to receive but if you can believe me as your prophet for this moment if you are born again you will be ushered into a realm of power if you can receive the word of god you will receive christ into your heart and as christ comes into your heart power will literally flow into your heart so that you can live a life that is above nature you will live a life that is super nature except a man be born again he cannot see the kingdom except a man is born of water and of the spirit he cannot enter the kingdom for he that is born of flesh glory to god is flesh but he that is born of spirit is spirit then jesus said do not be surprised that a prophet is preaching about you must be born again <laughs> because most of you all your prophets tell you is i saw a witch i saw a snake i saw a butterfly i also see things but all the seeing is irrelevant if you are born again all the seeing doesn't matter much if you are born of the spirit
I have never seen a house fly landed on fire before. So what are they were to me? The reason why the witches attack you in your dream is because your fire is out. You have no fire. But tonight, I came to bring an awakening to your spirit. I came to awaken your spirit and to call you to that place in God where you will literally be able to walk in the realm of power. Hebrews chapter 6 tells us that those who are born again are enlightened. They have tasted of the power of the world to come. They have become partakers of God's nature. Oh yes, the first Adam was a living soul, the second Adam is a quickening spirit. As you receive the second Adam by virtue of this spoken word into your heart, your spirit will be quickened. I want to pray with somebody who wants to receive Jesus into his heart. I want to pray with someone who said, A prophet, I want to be born again tonight. I want to be initiated into the realm of power. I, I, I mean, I can't imagine how you can say, I want to be a witch, and you say, I don't want to be initiated. How can you be a witch? And if even witchcraft require initiation, how much more Christianity or becoming a child of God? Listen, the Christian initiation is the experience of being born again, being born of water, and being born of the Spirit. Nicodemus said, how can I enter into my mother's womb? And Jesus said, you don't need to. For with the heart we believe, with the mouth we confess. And I'm going to lead you to make a confession that Jesus is the Son of God. He died in our place and rose again on the third day. That we shall never taste death. We shall never taste sickness. We shall never taste defeat. If you believe that in your heart and confess with your mouth, in that moment you are initiated and you become a child of God, a person born of the Spirit to live a life that is supernatural, then your words will carry power, then your hands will carry power, then your voice will carry power, is a moment of awakening. Glory to God. Somebody must be born again tonight. If you can hear my voice right now, I want to pray with you. It's as simple as that. If you believe that Jesus is the word that was with God which became flesh and died and rose again on the third day and you can say it with your mouth, that's why you are born again. And after getting born again, I'm going to be praying with you even as you call into the studio. But it begins with being born again. I am teaching you how to fish. Glory to God. My life has never been the same again. When I got born again on the St. Peter's campus, some 24 years ago, I have never been the same again. Glory to God. And I want to initiate you to that realm right now. If you can hear my voice wherever you are, you want to say that Jesus come into my heart. Come and dwell inside me and initiate me to the realm of power. I want to pray with you right now. So you can say these words after me by saying as your own prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus I have heard your word. I, heard your word. I, believe. I believe. I see the need to be born again. To be born Today, again. Today, I accept that you are the word of God. Accept that, you are the word of God. that became flesh. That became flesh. Lived, amongst lived amongst men. Was crucified. Was crucified. On the third day, the third day. You, rose you rose again. Thank you for dying in my place. In my that place. I can walk in the realm of power. In, in Jesus name. Jesus name. Amen. 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 Oh, glory to God. If you pray this prayer, you are a child of God now. You are initiated into the realm of power. Now, I want to open the phone lines in the studio. I want to pray with you. So, you want me to pray with you. You want to be free from harassment of demons. Even as you have been initiated, then we can join our faith and pray. So, you can call me on 54 I'll be waiting for you even as you call. God bless you. And you can also WhatsApp me on 0278-622627. Yeah, hello. Hello. Yes, may I know who is calling and where you're calling from. Can you lower the volume on the radio set, please? Okay, okay. Um, Elizabeth Ansa calling from Mama Samai. Wonderful. Elizabeth Ansa calling from Mama Samai. Lizzie, speak to me. Uh, I wanted you to pray for me. I'll pray for you. What do you want me to pray about? 
exam. Your exam. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for Lizzie. Horses are prepared against the days of battle, but victory comes from you. Give her victory and let her share her testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yeah, Lizzie, Amen. God bless you. Yes, you can also call me 0542423142. God bless you. You can WhatsApp me on 0278-622627. God bless you for calling. Except a man is born again, that man cannot see the kingdom. Except you are born of water and of the spirit, you cannot enter the kingdom. Hello? Hello. Yeah, I mean, I know who is calling and where you are calling from. This courage calling from Marjo. Courage from Major. Courage. Speak to me, Pastor Simpe is listening. Yeah, I'm a plumber and I want you to pray for me to win more contracts. I'll pray for you, but I hope that you are born again because that is what ushers you into that realm, okay? I release favor upon my brother, Courage. Lord, he believes that favor comes from you. He's a plumber. I pray for the release of more contracts for him. And even as he begins to prosper, he will share his testimony. In Jesus' mighty name have I prayed. Amen. Oh, yeah, I silence the voice of darkness concerning your life. Every hand that is risen against your progress is withered now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Yeah, courage. God bless you. You can also Amen. call 54 You call in into the studio. You can WhatsApp 278 Hello, me. I know who is calling and where you are calling from. Yeah, hello. Please lift your voice a bit. I want to hear you. I'm John. John, 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 where are you calling from? From Somanya. From Somanya. That is wonderful. John from Somanya. John, speak to me, Pastor Simpe is listening. Daddy, I, I, I want to sacrifice myself to the word of God. You want to sacrifice yourself to the word of God. Wow, great. But the sacrifice has been made already for Christ, but you'll be sold out for Christ. I'm going to pray for you right now. God will ignite fresh fire in your heart, a fresh awakening, and you'll be able to rise up and go very far. I pray for you, John, Father, that's your son. He wants to go deep into the world and be sold out to Christ. He wants to experience that realm of power I talked about tonight. Open a door for John to be able to move into that realm. In Jesus' mighty name have I prayed. Amen. Yeah, John, God bless you. God bless you. You can also call me 0542423142. I want to speak to you. I'm in the studio. You can WhatsApp, WhatsApp me 0278-622627. Hello, may I know who is calling and where you are calling from? Hello, good evening. My name is Mr. Suman. I'm calling from Accra. That's right, Mr. Suman from Accra. Speak to me, Pastor Simpe is listening. Please, I want you to pray for me. I'm having a liver problem. I'll pray for you, Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray for you to touch the liver of Mr. Esuman in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, you liver, I speak to you right now by the same word that became flesh as you enter into the liver of Brother Esuman. You are becoming life. I pray for regeneration. When he goes for review, he shall hear good news and will share his testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus, have I prayed. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Mr. Suman. God bless you. You have received that touch of God. When you go for review, call and share your testimony. Amen. 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 Glory to God. You can also call me 054-2423-142. I want to pray with you. You can WhatsApp me on 0278-622-627. Hello, me. I know who is calling and where you're calling from. Hello, my name is Prosper. Prosper. Prosper, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Kobe. You are calling from? Bobby man. Bobby man, that is powerful. Colin, speak to me. Now, please, I've been having headache for nine years now. Do you feel the pain right now? If the pain goes and comes. Do you feel the pain right now? It has subsided down. But were you feeling it before the broadcast? Yes, please. But it has subsided. Yes, please. You want it to go completely? Yes, because as you called me, I believe that instantly in the realms of the spirit right now, that pain is leaving you right now. That headache Amen. is leaving you right now. In the name of Jesus, now you foul spirit of headache, I rebuke you, be gone right now. Even as the Lord revealed to me in Jesus' name. Amen. Now Amen. do what Amen. you couldn't do before. You find out that the pain is gone completely. Completely. It shouldn't subside. It should be gone completely. That is what the Lord told me. Do what you couldn't do before. It's gone completely. God bless you. 
Amen. Amen. You can also call into the studio. I want to pray with you. 0542423142. You can WhatsApp me on 0278-622627. If you call, I'll pray with you. Yeah, hello, me. I know who is calling and where you're calling from. Hello. Hello. Yes, me. I know who is calling. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Manek Junction. Manek Junction. Who is calling? My name is Michael. Michael, that is wonderful. Michael, speak to me. Pastor Simpe is listening to you. Please, I want you to play for me to win more souls for the kingdom of God. Sir. Wonderful. Reverend Amwa will pray with you right now. Even as he's praying with you, you are catching the spirit of an evangelist. Let's go now. Father, you, in the name of Jesus, the word to God. has declared that even as we follow you, you shall make us fishers of men. Glory even to as God. Your son has this desire. May you transform him. Give him that impactation. Give him that anointing to win more souls for you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God, God bless you too. Now, someone just sent me a question. It says, Pastor, I just heard you saying that when a Christian is initiated into power, there is no way the devil can play with such a person. So my question is, how come the devil keeps on playing with Christians? Ah, the answer is simple. Simply, simply to say that uh, the Christians are not really initiated into the realm of power. Yeah, may I know who is calling and where you are calling from? Hello. Yeah, hello. Who is calling? My name is Afro. I'm calling from East Legon. That is wonderful. I didn't get your name, but you are calling from East Legon. Can you lower the volume on the radio set and speak to me? I think my name is Akos. Akos, that is wonderful from East Legon. So Akos, speak to me. I'm listening. I want you to pray for me. I want to be closer to God and open marriage to me. I want to pray with you right now. Glory to God. <laughs> Father, your daughter has a great desire. Of course, from Miss Legon wants to be very close to you. I pray that you will draw her close to you. Never let go of her. God, hold on to her in the name of Jesus. And I pray that you open doors, marital favor for her in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Yeah, so as I was speaking is anybody else on the line as i was speaking our brother wants to know why the devil keeps playing with some christians the devil plays with them because they are not initiated into that realm of power now if you are initiated into that realm of power it doesn't mean you are not going to face problems but it makes you stronger against the problems that come up against you i mean you cannot go around announcing to everybody that you are a heavy weight boxer and then nobody comes to contend for the title you have so the devil would would, would try to show up sometimes and 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 yeah hello me i know who is calling and where you are calling from yeah good evening i'm calling from pokwase my name is ajwa ajwa yes ajwa from pokwase speak to me pastor simpe is listening pastor please i want you to pray for me for about two weeks now i feel fear all the time all the two time weeks now. two weeks yes. now i'll pray for you oh glory to God. Father, your daughter is afraid. But the Bible tells us we have not received the spirit of fear, the spirit of fear to be timid, but we have received the spirit of love, of power, and of a sound mind. That's the spirit you gave us. Now, you spirits of fear, I rebuke you right now out of the life of our sister Ajua calling from Pukwase. Let her begin to walk, oh God. Oh God, let her begin to walk in the realm of love, of a sound mind, and of power. You spirits of darkness, I in her mind and inciting fear in her heart i rebuke you now out in the name of jesus glory to god amen amen, amen. amen. yeah god bless you so like i was saying sometimes the devil shows up and the devil begins to try to fight you but if you are born again and you are initiated into the realm of power jesus said i give you power over every power of the enemy to tremble and upon scorpions and upon serpents and every power of the enemy yeah hello me i know who is calling and where you are calling from my name is gifty calling from odoko gifty from odoko gifty speak to me no beatrice beatrice yeah. all right beatrice from odoko speak to me yeah i want you to pray for me so everything in my life as i've turned into a new everything in my life can go on perfectly 
surely 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 father i pray for your daughter you give her favor that everything in her life will go on smoothly and perfectly you foul spirits of darkness that want to challenge her faith i speak to you now you have no portion in this matter she has given her life to the word you cannot trouble her in jesus name amen yeah, everything will go smoothly for you, Beatrice. I know you are listening. Everything will go smoothly for you, but if there are challenges, it's no reason to give up because God is still with you. Amen. Amen. God bless you. May I know who is calling and where you are calling from? Pastor, please, from Gloria. Calling Gloria, from Ashon, man. Gloria, speak to me. Pastor Zimpe is listening to you. Pastor, please, I want you to pray for me. I've lost a lot of hope. I feel like there is no hope for me again. I'll pray for you. I'll pray for you. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Father, I lift your daughter before you. She has lost a lot of hope. She feels like there is no hope again. Lord, I join my faith with her faith. May you lift her from this place of hopelessness. From this dark hole in the name of Jesus. Now you foul spirit spirits of depression lose your hold now in the name of jesus Amen. you spirits of death i rebuke you now out of her life thank you jesus for bringing it out in jesus name amen. amen 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 set your eyes on the lord and on his word and you go far god bless you yeah so you can also call into the studio Okay, I think I can pick only one call. So if you are calling, this is the High City Church, and my name is Pastor Simpebediako. Hello, me. I know who is calling and where you are calling from. What? My name is Gideon. Gideon, Gideon, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Kwabinya. Kwabinya, that is wonderful. And I want to build a house for the Lord. I want to build churches. I want to buy cars. But sometimes God doesn't love me anymore. I don't know why. I'm single, and I feel like God doesn't love me anymore. All right, you are single. It means you are not married. No, I'm. I'm a boy. Uh, I'm a boy of twenty-one years, and I'm not thinking about married. But I'm, I want to do something for the Lord. Do oh. churches for the Lord. Help orphanage. But sometimes I don't know why. I don't feel like God loves me. Yes, you see, what we'll do is that you can WhatsApp zero two seven eight six two two six two seven. Then we'll continue the chat there. But what you need to understand is the steadfast, the love of God is steadfast. It never ceases. God never ceases to love people. God has a big heart. He loves people. Even when they have disappointed him, he still continues to love him. So don't feel that way. It's the devil making you feel that way. But I'm going to pray for you and then we would continue the discussion on 0278-622-627. But let's pray. Father, I pray for Gideon from Kwabinya. He feels so hopeless. He feels like you don't love him anymore. Show yourself to him. Let him feel your love. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Amen. Yeah, God bless you. All right, so listeners, this all time will allow us. This is the voice from the High City Church. We are located at a showman village at Pure Water. My name is Pastor Simpebediako. You can follow me on Facebook, Noah Simpebediako, or even send a friend request to Simpebediako, and we can be friends there on Twitter. Pastor Simpe, and then on Instagram, wherever. But let's continue the fellowship, and I believe that your life would never be the same again. Tonight is an all night at the cathedral. I'm inviting you, and until we meet again on Friday, remember keep walking in the way, the truth, and the life. God bless you. I love you. Bye bye. We believe you've been blessed by this broadcast. Call or WhatsApp Pastor Simpe on zero two seven eight. 622-627-0278-622-627 or visit highcity.org for free daily devotionals, inspiring audios and videos. Whenever you are in our area, visit one of our services. Every Sunday and Tuesday at 8 a.m. You may locate the High City Cathedral at Ashoman Village, Pure Water Taxi Rang. Make a date with us same time next week. Remember to WhatsApp 0278-622-627. 0278-622-627. God bless you.